Hello YouTube, this is NJ Full Rider 5 and it's been a while since I've uh, made a video. Uh, been kind of busy trying to uh, get a lot of things caught up here at home. Uh, luckily, I've actually gotten to a point where I can start doing videos again. We may be moving soon and if we move soon then it might be another while until I can get my uh, little bench set up again. But I've got a few videos that I could edit. I actually looked through uh, some uh, videos I made last year and uh, the year before that I've never published and I was quite surprised at how many I had left. So I figured I'd throw this real quick video together. It's something I've wanted to build for a while. It's nothing major, but it's kind of fun. It's uh, gonna be a, um, what do they like to call these things? A stun gun. So, uh, you know, be making it out of one of these. This is actually one of those uh, 600,000 watt to 10, thousand watts or something like that it's one of the bigger ones and i kind of trimmed it to fit the needs i had it's a pretty simple build uh had this little tube that i had from like uh, it was like an old desk that had plastic uh legs i just kind of trimmed the leg to fit and then i wrapped it with uh you know my favorite carbon mesh i've already pre-drilled all the holes I figured I'd pre-drill the hole so that this could be a quicker video than me having to do that. I've also got these. This is going to be the bottom. It's going to have a power LED, the two lights for the charger. The top's going to have the little, um, I don't know what you want to call these, the uh, leads from the shocker. I've already tested it. It works great. It's pretty powerful. Um, they're pretty, pretty easy to build. Uh, the hardest part is just getting everything to fit in whatever you know size thing you want to do it. I've seen people make them and they're a lot smaller than this. I didn't want to make it too complicated. I've actually got these pieces I found from some uh, old uh, uh, pill containers I got from you know getting my medicine from you know the pharmacy. Uh, I'm going to be using a TP4056 with the battery with this. I'm not going to use the power off of here. Or the protection off here circuit the protection circuit this is limited at three amps and i believe that if i limit this at three amps it's three amps is not going to be that strong so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to solder a couple wires to the top and the bottom place it in the holder and i'm only going to use this for charging um it's a simple on off on switch it's all i have i got some other ones but they're a little bit bigger and they're the same kind of switch but this should work um little monetary switch i'm going to be using these little i don't know um i don't know what you want to call these I, i've heard them called a lot of different things but they originally start like this here's a big big set of them that i have um i just trimmed them and i just took the plastic off and then i'm going to be sticking the wire from these up into here and then putting it down and it's going to go through here and it's so that I can replace the tips if I need be or if I need to make them smaller if I need to make them bigger I think right now the, the way I did these um, They're perfect size. I also uh, Filed the, the tip into a tiny pin to a tiny point and then I'm gonna be using It's fiber optic cable. That's what it is. Um, I got this from like some sound equipment that uh, uses the fiber optics to carry the sound uh, I found that I seen a few people online instead of just desoldering these little, what they do is they'll simply hot the super glue them onto the light and then point them pull them out of whatever they're gonna be mine are gonna be going through the top two pieces right here and I'll super glue those in place too um, but for right now as you can see everything's here battery holder uh, container uh, it's all pretty simple it's a pretty basic uh, set up uh, um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and probably spray paint these black or I might just add a piece of uh, strip the only problem with that a piece of strip I'm still gonna have the black outside but I guess it really don't matter we'll see we'll see how far I go all right I'll be right back and we'll throw this together
Okay, now they got the ends done. It's pretty basic. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, instead of drawing out a diagram, because it's pretty easy, uh, the, hot the hot wire from the battery is gonna be going to, the hot wire from the battery is gonna be going down to the switch. And on the other end, the wire is going to be going to the hot of the uh, the push button, and then on the other end of that, the hot wire is going to be going directly into the boost converter. So, hot, where it's going to break and switch, and then to this, where it's going to be broken to the boost converter, so that. This could be a safety. It'll only come on with this powered on. And then when it's on, it can only come on with the button. Um, the negative is gonna go directly from the battery to the negative of the boost converter, which is the green wire. Um, the LED that I'm gonna use in this, it's not the small one, I'm gonna use the bigger one. The LED, as soon as uh, as soon as I can, as soon as I'm gonna solder a negative wire from the battery to the negative side, and on the positive side, I'm gonna solder onto the uh, the power the opposite. Whenever you know the, the switch is on, it'll the light will come on, letting you know that this this is powered on. That way, I know when it's off or on. Um, this right here is gonna go directly into the the uh, charger, the charger. This is gonna go directly into the charger, the B plus, B minus on here, and then I'm gonna glue it onto the bottom. And I'm gonna leave a little bit out like that to where the end could stick in. And it'll come out through this little hole down here where I can plug it in and charge it. Um, I'm gonna be putting two little pieces of fiber optic cable from the light to the outside so that you can tell when it's on. And then the LED is actually gonna be going into this little area right here. So that, you know, power, LED, two lights. Uh, once all that's wired up from the boost, everything should be wired up, um, which is a pretty simple wiring. You'll have these two right here, and these two right here will be going into the ends of one of these. And I'm gonna push that through here, and then my little ends are gonna be going on the outside. Of course, I'm gonna use a lot of hot glue on the top and the bottom to isolate most of all that stuff and actually hold it into place. I'm gonna be using hot glue on the back of this to hold it into the back side of this, and I'm gonna be using hot glue on the back of this, so it'll hold on so none of it shakes whenever it's ready. So it's all pretty basic, pretty simple should go together pretty quick but you know how that goes anytime you think something's gonna go together quick it usually takes forever so I'm gonna clean my table get my soldering board up here and I'm gonna start soldering wires
All right, so I also decided to make some ends with some uh, old pill bottles I had just for safety purposes. More than likely, this is gonna get put with my other stuff, you know, the little DIY stuff I built and, you know, get put in the bone yard until one of these days I look at it and maybe go back through it. But anyways, I took some pill bottles that were real small and they seem to get smaller as a, as a, you get inside of them and they fit just perfect over these. And I just stick it, oh, this is the bottom. Stick it over it like so. And then stick this over the top. And then there you have it. it keeps it protected, everything. And then here it is guys. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Lights on the bottom. Whew, you can smell that ozone. Okay, so also, I shut it off. You want to make sure that there's no charge in it. Um, when I charge it, it's pretty easy. Take a foam charger, plug it in the bottom. I'm gonna use my charger I built not too long ago. Plug it in. And I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark in here. Let me focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Right now it's uh, red, and once it gets charged, it turns blue, the other light. And I put super glue on there. You can see the super glue, but it's not a big deal. I didn't build this for any kind of like self-defense purposes or anything like that. It's just a simple DIY just to see if I could do it. I've seen a lot of them done on the internet. and I bought one of those little shocking things, and I figured, hey, I could build a shocker too. So anyways. It turns red when it's charging, blue when it's done, and with this charger, it turns off when it's completely charged. I only used one battery, as you guys can see as I built it. Focus. Having trouble focusing today. So there you guys have it. And of course, I'm not going to shock myself with it. There's plenty of videos of, you know, crazy people shocking themselves with these same kind of uh, contraptions. Uh, I don't recommend building one of these. Uh, make sure that if you do build one of these, you know what you're doing. Uh, not, not responsible for anything you guys build, but this was just my take on one of these. There you go. So shut it off. Make sure it's discharged. Put it back in this little holder and I'll probably put it away. So if you guys have any questions or if there's anything you guys want to see me build, uh, do me a favor. I'll leave a comment in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll check you guys out in my next video.